Are you excited for Pokemon Go? I am. Hats related, well, beanie thing. So we're all pretty excited about Pokemon Go and the idea that we can go out and venture into the world and catch digital Pokemon in like a digital world world what but since the announcement we've had nothing but questions will the battle system be close to what the games were if so how do evs and ivs and all that shit work so on and so forth but one question we did get the answer to was that they're going to be gyms so recently there's an article and they interviewed the guys that are behind it and they're basically just saying oh well no matter where you live we want you to be able to go outside and catch pokemon and they may not be the rarest pokemon but they're still going to be pokemon which is cool i mean that's kind of what your game's going for then they hit us up with this next line gyms will be a bit more rare S say what you'll want to find gyms so you can level up and battle there what the idea that there are gyms out there that we can go to and fight and win and get badges and all that shit. Oh, I won't lie, it gets me rock hard. I kind of hope that they're predetermined locations and not completely random. I mean, the random aspect kind of adds more fun to it because it's like that whole adventure thing. But imagine if it's a predetermined location. Fucking road trip. Imagine you're hanging out with your boys and you're just like, guys, have you... Have you got your third gym badge? Nah, man, I've only got two. I just need to, I need to go level up and do that shit. Well, it turns out... The third badge is in Darling Harbour. Road trip, boys! I would totally go on a fucking road trip. A victory road trip. Well, it depends on how successful we are. But nonetheless, it'll be fun. Now, another thing they've said that really piqued my interest, we'll have events for Pokemon as well. And I'm like, oh, whatever, you know, I never really went to the events because it's more like events have certain Pokemon. Come get your Celebi and your Arceus. Or Arceus, however the fuck you want to pronounce it. These are competitive, but they can also be places to trade stuff with other players. That's friggin' awesome. The idea that they're actually adding a somewhat competitive side to this mobile game, but really embracing the whole trading aspect of it too. Apparently, they're claiming you can't get them all by yourself. There's going to be parts in the world where only certain Pokemans will be. They've said that to get all the Pokemon, we either need to trade with other people, or take off work for a year and travel the fucking world. Now, I'm not gonna travel the world, so the chances of me getting every Pokemon is minimal. But I tell you what, it's gonna make holidays that you go on that a little bit more exciting. I tell you what, I'll be breaking away from the tour group to catch me a Scizor. A, a Scizor's even wild. I don't think Scizor's a wild Pokemon. So are they gonna implement the whole evolution by trading thing? See, right there is an example of more questions that we have, but that's fine. Today is a victory because we got a few answers. And all I'm saying is that if there are gyms, there might be an Elite Four in a Pokemon League, so I'm down for that. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more goodness, and I'll see you guys next time. We go on a Pokemon road trip to catch some Jigglypuff, because we want to turn that puff into turf. You know what I'm saying.